Good evening, my friends. So today I'm in in Einbinian on National Highway 11, and I will drive to the city center. Please crack up the window in the back. It's cold and windy, and uh, I'm in this beautiful area of Einbinian, approaching the city center or the, the central part of Einbinian. Crack up the window, please. And I'm going to film a video from this area here to Hussein Day. It's late in the afternoon, the sun is setting. I'm facing the east, the sun is behind me and it's going to completely set uh, in a few minutes. And it's Ramadan. the last days of Ramadan 2022 April uh, the 29th 2022 and I think that it's Ramadan the 28th and there is this road here National Highway 11 that bypasses the several parts of Einbinian the central part of Einbinian is on the left together with the Lama Drag a part of Einbinian that has a recreational area. Some people are uh, in a hurry to get home before sunset in order to make it on time for the iftar meal. And the iftar meal is the meal that Muslims eat in order to break their fast. Observant Muslims fast, which means that they avoid eating and drinking from sun from sun uh, sunrise to sunset. And it's only at sunset that they are allowed to eat when they hear the azan or the uh, the call to the prayer to the sunset prayer the maghrib prayer so some people are in a hurry to to drive home to arrive home early uh, on time or before sunset in order to get ready for the iftar meal wash up and freshen up before they eat but uh, some drivers are reckless so it's a little bit uh, so it's uh, a little bit uh, I mean so some drivers drive in a in a dangerous way at this time that's why I'm uh, letting everyone overtake me there is a speed bump here one of problems on this road is these speed bumps. This is a national highway and National Highway 11. Normally there, I mean it should be just like a, like a motorway, but uh, there are these speed bumps and they are here. They are here in order to oblige drivers to slow down in these residential areas. So the local authorities were obliged to install these uh, speed bumps here in order to make uh, uh, cars slow down because uh, there have been many accidents where cars uh, run over pedestrians. Just look at this area here. This is the exit of Einbinian and it's uh, such a beautiful area with these uh, palm trees. It's lined with uh, windmill palm trees and it's facing the sea you can see the sea from here it's such a beautiful area and Einbinian has a few beaches too now I've decided to film this video in order to test this phone camera it's a Redmi Note 9 and uh, a friend of mine told me that this camera is good for filming at night that's why I'm, uh, I'm using it to film this video at night. Now we're approaching the area of the cemetery. And there is a, a speed bump ahead. A speed bump that's difficult to detect. 
So there is a Muslim cemetery here and the, the Christian cemetery further away. You can see the car over there passing the speed bump, so I need to slow down here in order to pass this speed bump slowly. And now I can hear the Adan. In fact, I'm still on the road because I, I'm driving home. There is a balcony here on the left from where you can see the sea. The sea is calm today. And now I'm going to break my fast because I've been fasting too. And I'm going to eat a date for that. And the date is a fruit rich in uh, energy. Now we are driving or entering the area of Hamamet. It's another municipality. even here and they are here for the safety they are here for the safety of, uh, of pedestrians and during this area is uh, very busy during the summer it's this area in particular there there is traffic all the way from this area to uh, I think to Algiers to several Algiers it's such a I mean it's a it's a living hell to drive down this road uh, during the summer at night at night because lots of people uh, get out to enjoy some fresh air and uh, eat ice cream and even eat out eat dinner out it's very uh, I've got to honk signal my uh, arrival to any uh, oncoming car because uh, now the streets are totally empty and uh, some drivers tend to drive extremely recklessly at this time. And they also drive very, very, very fast. All right, so as I told you, uh, This area becomes very busy uh, in the evening during the summer and you had better visit it on foot not uh, not by car definitely not by car otherwise you'd spend uh, a good or a solid two to three hours of traffic just stuck here in this area I totally avoid this area uh, in the summer. I mean, during, during, I mean, at night, at night, of course, not during the day. I hope that the image quality is good. Now we are approaching the Bynam area. There is a market here, municipal market, the Hammamet municipal market. And this Hammamet here isn't to be confused with a Tunisian town known by the name of Hammamet as well. Hammamet is Arabic for for baits. Just look at how fast that car is, is, is running. And now this is the area of Bainam. There is a hospital here on the right. And you can 
also drive to Uzeria via the Bainam forest, which is on the right. So the forest is dominating the upper parts of, of this area. I have already filmed the video, I mean this video before, I mean this route and that night, a couple of days ago in order to test this camera, but I realized that I, I hadn't cleaned uh, the windshield, so the image quality was uh, awful. That's why today as I had the opportunity to visit uh, in Benyan again, I just, I mean late, late, late uh, in the afternoon, I decided to refilm this video, this video <coughs> after sunset. That's what I'm doing. The hospital is on the right. And I need to honk at any car driving onto this uh, road on, on the right, I mean from the right, because as I said, it's, uh, you don't want to, to have an accident with some reckless driver. There is an ambulance behind me, I've got to let it, let it pass. Ouch. It's a police. Uh... Yes, uh, it's a police van. And this area is serviced by buses, just like the one we've just passed here on the right. They are private buses. There are also public buses that that service the area. So we are breaking our fast here in the car on our way to Hersey Day. There's a tow truck behind me and I, I'd better let it pass as well. Great. So everyone is in a hurry right now. There is a beautiful cedar tree here on the left. In the front yard of a house and the, the here too. There are two cedar trees. Those are colonial houses. And everything on our right is part of the forest of Bainem. Now we are approaching the area of Reis Hamidu. that the, the image quality is good. Beautiful palm trees on the left. And the authorities have been decorating the city. I mean the city of Algiers. Now if you want to go to Buzirea you take the right. You will be driving to Buzirea via Sidil Kbir. It's the Sidil Kbir road. I can see that they have uh, repaved the road here. There is a, a gas station here on the right. I think that, yes, there is a beach here. They call it La Plage Urbaine or the Urban Beach. And this is Rice Hamidou. The problem with uh, the, the local municipalities, these coastal municipalities here, is that they are at the foothills of the Buzeria uh, Plateau, 
or the Bynum Plateau and uh, they don't have I mean they have trouble developing themselves because they of, of, of a lack of land so on the one side there is the sea and on the other side the mountain there is a cement factory here on the right and now we are entering the area of Bulurin I mean we are approaching Bulurin there is a, a mansion here on the left somewhere here on the left uh, too bad I won't be able to film it for you I, I don't think that I can capture it on camera as I'm driving because the camera is fixed it's on the dashboard and uh, yes the house is on the left I can see it here on the left it's a mansion and it's uh, I think that it was made a hotel according to a co-worker of mine someday I will film it to you local people call it uh, the castle Now, there, are, there is a balcony here from where you can see the sea, beautiful balcony, and the Corniche, in fact, this, all this area is known as the Corniche of saint Eugène or the Corniche of Boulourine. I think that this place here is known as Deux Chameaux, the two camels, I wonder why they called it like this. A friend of mine who is uh, in this area not very far from Boulourin. So Yahya, if you are watching me, I'm in your neighborhood. Yahya Wersidini. And there is a balcony here. And someday I will film a video where I will walk along that uh, sidewalk on the left, the Corniche film you all I mean all the interesting things you can see here there are some of the oldest houses here in Algiers here on the seashore but they are decaying because of uh, the erosion caused by the by the sea and uh, many people come here to fish by the way they come here to uh, to fish with their rods fishing rods there is a, a beach here, it's a rocky beach, and uh, a friend of mine uh, enjoys coming to swim here. Well, I personally don't like it very much. And one of the problems here is, uh, when, when you visit local beaches here, is uh, finding a parking spot. So, uh, uh, there are some narrow streets, back streets here on the right, where you can safely park your car. Oh, and the, the church or the Basilica of Notre Dame is on the top of that hill, it's over there, if you can see it. I once filmed a video on how to drive from Bebelouet to, <coughs> to that Basilica. <coughs> it's located in an area of Bouzeria known as Zghara. It's such a beautiful area to visit uh, during the day. And this section of National Highway 11 is known as uh, the Emir Khalid Boulevard. Named after uh, the grandson of Emir Abdelkader. And Emir Abdelkader is uh, one of the greatest uh, chiefs of, of, of the Algerian resistance against the French colonization. The French invasion. He resisted the French between 1832 uh, to uh, 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 between the 1832 and uh, 1847. And now this is the area of Boudourin. We are going to drive uh, by the stadium. The stadium is on the right, and uh, the Boudourin Mosque, also known as uh, Masjid Al Falah, is on the left. Uh, the Boulogne Stadium is the home stadium of the local team, 
the USM8 or a US mo there is a balcony here that overlooks the sea too and now we are approaching the area of Vilkentani and uh, the central parts of the city downtown Algiers and uh, you will see that it's so uh, beautiful with all these street lights and uh, all those uh, decorative lights that they have installed here so the local authorities have started to take uh, good care of the city I mean of the of the cityscape uh, in 2012 2013 now Algiers is becoming a modern city a truly modern city now you can you turn around here on the on the left okay turn around here this is Bebelouet so El Kateni is on the left it's the coastal part of Bebelouet and Bebelouet proper is on the right just look at that there are tents here on the left I think that they are organizing some sort of fair at night I don't know and by the way uh, Algerians like going out uh, at night in Ramadan we call this Sahara going out uh, or staying up uh, till late at night uh, in Ramadan and now we are driving through this area of Bebelouet one of the commercial streets of Bebelouet the Atlas cinema is on the left there is a garden here on the right these are the arcades they are beautifully decorated with all these lights <laughs> I really like this there is a swimming pool here in uh, El Kattani or there was I don't remember uh, I mean I don't really know whether it's still there or not and now this is the area of uh, Martyr Square there is a, a balcony here on the left uh, overlooking the sea and uh, this car is running so slowly on a road where usually cars can speed so the Martyr Square is on the right there is a museum here on the left Bastion Ventura Museum and there is a music institute on the right and now guys we are driving towards the fishery fishery of Algiers which is over there there is a fishing port there on the left and there is a fish market here as well as uh, some uh, fish stores if you, if you want to I mean if you are walking on foot and uh, you want to visit Martyr Square you, you can take those stairways on, on the right Algiers train station is here on the right the main train station and the, the port is on the left the Algiers port We've got to find a way to overtake this uh, van okay great into the right lane in order to let me overtake it such it's so kind of him and now central Algiers is on the right if you want to go to, uh, to the central post office like hot post you've got to take that ramp on the left here the tramp uh, the, the ramp on the left the ramp on the left and go over that bridge then turn right 
that's where the the central post office or Lycan post is. And now we are in Tefura. Tefura Square is on the left. Just look at how beautifully uh, decorated these palm trees are. Yeah, the light is green. And this is the, the May the Second uh, bus station. It's on the left, the May the Second bus station. And that footbridge over there above us uh, connects this bus station to uh, May Day Square or the 1er May Square, Sean Manub. to go to Mayday Square you take the ramp on the right where that car is going on the right but we are driving straight on towards Hersin Day just look at these guys 25 minutes to drive from Inbidian to Algiers when the streets are totally empty Crank up the window. It's cold. Crank up the window in the back, please. And now, the area on my right is uh, part of Bilouz Dad and Al Hamba. is a little bit weak here and this is the ALN Avenue by the way and we are still on highway number 11 this is highway national highway 11 or N11 on the maps and these uh, in fact the, this uh, public lighting is much better than before with these LED uh, lamps that they are using now There is a, a railroad crossing here, and in order to enter Hersin Day, we've got and leave National Highway 11, we've got to take this ramp here. That ramp that goes to the Ilhamma area. <coughs> so now, if you want to visit the, uh, the, the botanical garden, you take the right, the Ilhamma botanical garden. And if you want to go to Hussein Day, you take the left. So the botanical garden is on the right. It's Algiers. Uh, it's Algiers' largest garden and most beautiful garden as well. It's a botanical garden with uh, lots of tropical trees and plants, as well as a zoo. We call it uh, Jardin d'Ici, or the Garden of Experiments. Uh, founded in uh, 1832 and uh, in 10 years it will be celebrating its 200th anniversary such a great thing such a beautiful thing this area here is known as uh, Revoil and now there are some restaurants uh, over there on the right I have never tried them though a friend of mine is very knowledgeable uh, uh, in, in restaurants here in Algiers and I always, uh, I mean I count on him to take me on uh, a discovery trip of the Algiers restaurants. So now you can see, you can notice the difference in the public lighting here, they are not using a lot of uh, LED lamps. Uh, now we have just entered Christine Day and here in Christine Day they haven't switched to LED lamps. They are still using the old halogen lamps for uh, public lighting. 
here on the, the Hanafi, on Fernan Hanafi Street. So, guys, it took us exactly 30 minutes in order to drive from Ain Binyan to, uh, to Hussein Day via the coastal roads at night when nobody is on the, on the road, nobody is on the street. But uh, of course, uh, st uh, streets are going to get busy again um, in uh, 20 minutes as people finish their iftar meal and uh, start coming out uh, to go to the mosque to pray and to go enjoy some fresh air here on the streets in the evening. Uh, I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications button in order to receive uh, notifications of my future videos. Also, uh, I have noticed that only a third of you guys, a third of my viewers are uh, subscribed to my channel. That's why I urge the other two thirds to uh, subscribe as well. Your subscriptions are going to help our channel a lot. Uh, drive safely, visit Algiers visit Algeria. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.